<laughs> My uh, least favourite, Peter Andre, has been faced with a parenting dilemma after his 12-year-old daughter, Princess, asked him if she could go on a date. She said she was happy for her dad to come along as well, and Peter thinks it's okay because, of course, it's innocent. But um, would you feel the same way, Stacey, if Zach comes home and goes, Mum, um, I've been a lovely girl, I, I want her to be my girlfriend, I want to go on a date, but I'd like you to come along and just keep an eye. Would you be happy to do it? I mean, that would never happen. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know, when we were talking about discussing this in our meeting, we do them from home now um, for social distancing, Zach was with me, weren't he? And I said to him, would you... Would you want to go on a date? Because I think it's actually... I don't know if boys are different to girls. I don't think it's ever really crossed his mind at 12 years old to go on a date. And I don't think it did when I was yeah. 12 either. So he was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, really innocently. And I think that's probably the reason why I wouldn't mind at all. I don't think in his head he would ever see anything any more than, like, a date that he sees on, like, a, a kid's programme or something or, like, where they might hold hands or go to the cinema. So I'd probably drop him there and pick him up, but I wouldn't want to be, like, sitting behind him. No. Oh, really, and I could all I think about is my parents being on my first date. <laughs> oh! But how old were you on the first date? I was probably about 14 or 15 for okay, so it's that went on a natural older, date. Yeah, yeah. We... Say, the language, I would never, at 12 years old, I'd never have said, I'm going on a date. No. So obviously, it just, it's actually quite a mature approach, isn't it, really, yeah. to be fair? And we were going over the park with... Oh, God, I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, uh, stop that there. We are still live on telly, Stacey. <laughs> Let's just <laughs> say she might have been misbehaving. <laughs> I, I think back to when I was 12, that would never even have come out of my mouth, boyfriend. Definitely not. But if Jamal, in, in, you know, if Jamal and Tanisha, when they were 12, if they had asked me, I would have probably said, no, you can't go on a date because that's how I was then. How I am now, if they were 12 now and asking me, I'm a bit more open-minded, I like to think, and I would escort them on the date and I wouldn't You'd just drop the them background. off. I'd be there be in one booth, I'd be in that booth right next door eating my food <laughs> and making sure that I can hear the conversation that it's all right. Yeah, I so love cross yeah, no. Well, I'm coming from a background, you know, I have I, I snuck out to see somebody, my first boyfriend, on a first date when I was 17, and my aunt found me, it was raining, and so we stopped under this tunnel and my aunt found us and we were like kissing and she hit me with the umbrella. I got hit in front of this boy. That was the first oh. and last date I ever had. Oh my god! No. Well, not the last date I ever had. But that was seventeen. You know, when I wow. when I finally yeah. But you know, so it's just a different way. It's yeah. Way of life. Mm. What about you, Kay? Yeah, I'd love to see you going on a date with you your what? children. Can you imagine Kay in the background? <laughs> that would be fantastic. It's chipping into the well, conversation. Uh, no, it's funny you say that because, well, you were all slow starters, you lot. I was out there 12 and 13, I tell you. <laughs> Go on, guys. <laughs> yeah. No, I do remember at this one occasion, I was, uh, I don't know if I called it a day either, Christine, but I was out with this boy. We were walking around our local park. This is what you did. So a bit of social distancing. So you'd hold hands, you'd walk <laughs> along, you'd both sort of look straight ahead. You wouldn't look at each other at all. There'd be no conversation. <laughs> you just walk around the park for like an hour holding hands and that was it. So I was doing that with this uh, boy. His name was Colin, actually. And, uh, you know, just kind of aware of something going on behind you. I thought, what the is, what the is that? And then I realised it was my dad, who was quite a tall guy with our little Jack Russell, who was very small, and he was dancing in out the trees. It was a tree-like <laughs> kind of pass. And he was sort of like jumping out, jumping out, going, Dad! <laughs> Oh, my God, that would have been my dad, Kay. Yeah. Oh, no, I think so that... embarrassing. But, you know, when you look back now as a parent, Kay, do you not get it? You just get where he was coming from? Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't do that with mine, actually. I, I wouldn't, because I'm such a goofball. I, I would say the wrong thing. I would be the one that would be embarrassed and the kids would be looking at me as if, like, oh, my God, you're so uncool. I, you know, I trust them. They'll be fine. Yeah. You know, it's not as if they're on Tinder, is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know, Kay. <laughs> I, love I was so always much. petrified of letting my dad down. I mean, even now, at this age, I'd, have, I'd be thinking, oh, gosh, what do mum and dad think? Yeah. I, it's just instilled. It's like you say, Brenda, if it's instilled in you, you can't help yourself, yeah. can you? 